when you see all this news happening, you don't think it's going to happen to your family. Tonight we're hearing from a family member of one of the two women who were stabbed on Market Street that we have been telling you about. This was on Tuesday. The man accused of attacking them is in jail, set to be arraigned tomorrow on two counts each of attempted murder, assault with a deadly weapon, and elder abuse. Our Crown for is Gail Ong is live for us in San Francisco tonight. She spoke with the granddaughter of the 84-year-old woman. Uh, Gail, what did she have to say? Yeah, their family thankful their grandmother is alive. They got to visit her today and say she is in great spirit. Chui Fung Ng is recovering at San Francisco General Hospital after being stabbed multiple times in an unprovoked attack. I was just so worried she wasn't going to make it. So I just want other people to know that if it happens to them, that there's other people out there to support them. And I just want everyone to know that she's doing great, but um, we'll get through this together as a community. Her granddaughter, Victoria Ng, tearing up during our interview. She did not want to appear on camera, but wants to spread awareness to the community about what happened to her 84-year-old grandmother and a woman in her 60s who are both Asian and stabbed at a bus stop on Market Street in San Francisco. When you see all this news happening, you don't think it's going to happen to your family. Video from the Citizen app shows the crime scene Tuesday. San Francisco police arrested 54-year-old Patrick Thompson, booked on two counts of attempted murder and elder abuse. Police allege he walked up on the women from behind and stabbed them several times. Police are still investigating if this crime was motivated by racial bias. Ng says her grandmother was just getting groceries in Chinatown. She also received her COVID vaccine and felt safe to go out again. Fung Ng has lived in San Francisco for more than 50 years and never experienced anything like this. As of Tuesday, her GoFundMe page, well exceeding the goal, has raised at least $100,000, meant for medical bills, but the family plans to donate to organizations that support AAPI communities. Essentially, she's just so happy with all the support. She does want everyone to know that she does want this man brought to justice and she doesn't want him to be on the streets anymore, but she's also so happy that everyone's come together. We are told the family of the other victim want their privacy during this difficult time and understandably so. Here in San Francisco, Gail Ong, Cron 4 News.